exercise 7.1 class 9 max ncrt syllabus in that question number 1 in quadrilateral acbd ac is equal to ad and ab bisects angle a see figure 716 show that triangle abc is in congruence with triangle abd what can you say about bc and bd so this is the question so this is the quadrilateral AC, this side and AD are equal. This angle A is bisected by the line AB. Bisected by the line AB. That means if this is theta, this is also theta. Now we will read out the diagram. So consider the first triangle ABC. A, B, C. So this is theta. Now you draw the second diagram. So A, then you have B, D is here, so I am marking D here. So A to D, A to D, this side. So AD and AC are equal. Then we have BD, BD. So this angle, BAD, BAD, this angle is theta. That means for the given quadrilateral, we have uh, drawn separately the two triangles ABC and ABD. Now if you see this AB, here also AB, here also AB. That means both the AB, so this length and this length are equal. So now if you see the triangle, both the triangles, Side angle side. SAS rule is verified. Side angle side. Therefore, we can say that ABC and ABD are congruent triangles. That is, we can write triangle ABC is in congruence with triangle ABD. ABD by SAS rule. Okay. So, since this condition is verified, BC BC should be equal to BD. This is by by CPCC theorem. BC is equal to BD by CPCT theorem. That is, corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent. Since side angle side, so we have proved that triangle ABC is in, it's a congruence with triangle ABD. Both the triangles are congruent. So if that is the case, then we can say BC is equal to BD by CPCT. Theorem. CPT, CPCT means corresponding parts of congruent triangles should be congruent. Thank you.